so the plan is to put a new fence around here and uh, first I need to remove old fence gonna try okay so here's the location of the post be removing it so it looks like there's concrete around it and I'm gonna try to remove some dirt around concrete okay so I've removed the one post here and uh, oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. So here's the line of the old post. I'm gonna put the old new one here. Some cigarette lighters. This used to be on the other side of the fence, I put it back to the center. So here's the I'm still digging this the old fence out and uh, I removed the old post and I need it. I'm gonna reuse it. So I'm gonna remove the concrete and I, what I did is I used this uh, mole 8 pound and then just heat it. Okay, I need to use both hands. So remove the other two and uh, the best way it seems like to use this side to heat it and I wanna hit the most the shortest side so I turn it and this looks like the shortest right here last one came out second one and I just when I use it when I hit the breeze came to my eyes. I always use glasses, and uh, yeah, I would suggest anyone to use the glasses. I was able to use the tools and uh, just dug a 40 inch hole, and I was really surprised that um, the, sh the fact that this was sharpened the end helped uh, cut some of that wood, uh, some of the tree um, root, which is, yeah, that was surprising, all these pieces of wood, half of them came from using this sharpened uh, shovel. I have both uh, this footing for the concrete post and another one here 16 and 12 and then I realized since the, these made out of paper I decided to buy one something similar to shape uh, so I can reuse them uh, which will be this metal trash can which will be same as that and this metal uh, piece will be same will replace that this way I can reuse 
uh, them. So all I need is the shape and um, the price was actually so these metal pieces cost maybe five dollars more than these uh, paper pieces so that it was just would be uh, better to reuse it so I'm gonna return the the uh, paper footing I have printed the ins installation instruction uh, from the website and it says here for 5 inch post we will need a 12 inch diameter hole so I have measured this uh, metal piece I'm not sure the name but it, yeah it just came out around 12 12 inches so I'm gonna use tape and put around it around here and uh, see how it works I have put tape around it and uh, found this pail and I'm gonna put it on top and then put more tape and at the bottom as well so this should give me this way uh, this metal piece won't flex when I put it in the ground I have created uh, this yes uh, shape for the uh, uh, where the uh, post will go so I just tape I use the pail um, which is 12 inches on its biggest side put it inside and taped it and now same thing here but here I removed well this one I found on the street so it didn't have the handle so the idea is to put this in the ground and then put uh, uh, ground around it so this will be the shape uh, so I made this to be reusable uh, so I have I dug the hole and uh, I measured it I need it around I don't know, 44 inches and uh, it's more than it's pretty deep since I'm doing this first time I might have overdid it and, uh, but next time I might use this experience to do it differently um, but it worked uh, it seems like it's working so I'm measuring the the post so the post originally is 140 inches and uh, so from the bottom to the first opening is around 42 inches and I wanted to put some gravel maybe I don't know 2 inches 3 inches so I dug around maybe 44 uh, the hole and um, from the instructions it's recommended to have space between here to the ground 2 inches so this actually will go in the ground only up to 40 inches and 2 inches will be out and uh, so I measured it <laughs> it's yeah comes out around yeah 44 inches and uh, I have lowered the the shape the 12 inches in diameter and the idea is now to put this ground back around it and, uh, and so I have to every time I put it I wanted to compact it on the side and uh, I hope first time doing it 
So I, I hope the idea is for when I pull this by the handle, it will um, still that the shape will still uh, be there. And I'm actually gonna do this um, not all the way 12 inches, maybe around at the end it will be 16 inches. But I don't know, we'll see how uh, it's just kind of the idea. I have measured it again and uh, I think it's ready to form. So I want it to be right on the edge. This, somewhere here on the edge with the neighbors and it's gonna be like that all the way there and uh, set up the uh, container uh, around the around the form and uh, put the, some blocks around it so it doesn't move uh, it's snowing now uh, but tomorrow uh, it should be back to uh, close to 50 degrees from my understanding I don't want to do this uh, below 40 but uh, just today because the weather is very different here it's actually April today. Uh, so I also leveled it both sides and then tried it uh, it seems straight and uh, this doesn't move uh, I'm gonna put some uh, uh, some uh, ground back there and then come back tomorrow when it's gonna be back to 50s I also decided not to use 16 inch diameter just gonna go with 12 with just this I think it will be enough decided to put a cover around it uh, for the snow come back tomorrow when it will be 50 degrees uh, I have put some soil in the ground and uh, I realized you know what was my plan and it's not working as I wanted I think because there's just too much rain it's been raining for weeks uh, I'm not every day but seems like most of the time and this would be best if done without rain uh, but that's what I have so I have to go with uh, what the nature decides uh, so I put this uh, the shape and uh, I use this this tool to compact the ground every time I put little bit ground I compacted it and also I, I move this uh, up the shape up every time I compact it I move it up so this way uh, it won't get stuck when I try to get it out and uh, I'm kind of still going have something in my mind how to do it with this wet soil and I'm gonna just keep going uh, I have removed the shape and uh, still seems like it's holding up again not the best but too wet but it's still there probably I don't know two feet so now I'm gonna put the put the post and then I'm thinking to put enough concrete up to the edge and then create another another shape around it with these wooden things uh, wooden panels and then uh, finish the top the reason put the the post and uh, it's uh, 
it's longer it's the post needs to stick out two inches that hole so uh, the hole is too deep and uh, I'm gonna put some gravel over there from my understanding uh, gravel is not important unless it's the post is made out of wood but I'm still gonna do it and I, I think it won't hurt uh, maybe it will uh, will keep the concrete uh, in one place better without moving but I don't think it will matter but uh, I'm, I'm gonna still use it so I need to make sure that that hole is two inches above ground uh, put uh, gravel at the bottom maybe ba one bag and a half uh, I guess 50 pounds each bag next time for next post I'll do it more efficient uh, but for this one just should work I measured uh, two inches between here and here and it seems like it comes out correct oh, obviously everything is approximate so now I'm gonna set this up this post the, I will need to rotate the post so it goes this way uh, the correct way I, f I have measured the uh, post and uh, it seems like it's good now uh, it's leveled on both sides and uh, I use this uh, line just kind of get idea that it's straight it's not probably how it's done by professional uh, but that's uh, just for me at least it will be approximate approximate I think it might not be 100% but it, it should work uh, and I think since it's vinyl it, I can adjust a little bit as I go along uh, also seem like uh, uh, more work more things to set up but I think if I set up the first post very well especially on the edge the rest will be easier to set up uh, so now I'm ready to put the um, concrete there and this was also tricky because there's a neighbor uh, post so it's kind of I had to I think the best would be if that was in the middle uh, but uh, I'm uh, gonna go with that and then maybe add more concrete around it instead of 12 inches diameter maybe 16 um, kind of improvise mix the concrete uh, use the mask and uh, I've been using this goggles uh, pretty much since I've been working outside I, they are very light so I always use them and uh, I put some water from my understanding we want to use I want to use uh, hot water when mixing it should help with concrete to set fast and also using this uh, 5000 psi uh, concrete it's from what I read it's recommended so I'm putting the concrete and then I'm hitting it with the uh, with the wooden stick from my understanding it's so there's no air bubbles in the concrete There's also a hole at the, on the um, on the post, and I'm hitting it with the wooden stick, and this way uh, more concrete will go inside the post at the bottom.
I have uh, the concrete, the end of it. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and finish it. But first I need to clean it, the concrete from the post and all the tools before it uh, sets. And um, it still has some concrete left, but I'm gonna, I think, throw it away. I wanna, some part of me wants to put more, but from my understanding, I don't wanna put all the way to the ground maybe leave two inches from the ground um, I don't know how much that matters now with how much concrete I poured so originally on the website it says uh, I, I can buy uh, you can get uh, aluminum inserts for the post or, or you can use um, concrete and that's only recommended for where I will put the, the door. Um, uh, but I decided to put some concrete all the way there, just since it's for the corner. And the concrete, the aluminum inserts were uh, like $75, so 75 times 20. Uh, it's almost as much as the whole uh, fence will cost, the other parts, well not almost half I guess. So, and I think concrete is actually will be stronger than the aluminum insert. And um, so now I'm gonna cover this, and come back tomorrow, I'm gonna put at the, over the end uh, something that so water doesn't get in there and uh, come back tomorrow uh, it seems like it's gonna rain now so I'm gonna close that with the tarp and uh, I think it came up nicely and tomorrow I will remove these uh, wooden pieces panels again gonna clean this now ready uh, for the for the rain is coming, hopefully this will help. <laughs> 